Yo, welcome back to the channel. Kamusta sa inyo lahat mga kaibigan at mga kapitbahay? We have a new video from Kuru Games. They, this one just dropped about a couple of hours ago. And this is a skills showcase for Camellia. I think this is the first time they actually did something like this, like a, a video for that showcases only uh, a character's or resonator's uh, skills. So this is really interesting. If uh, you were paying attention, uh, my my previous uh, review of the preview for 1.4, I actually mentioned something about we need another video just showcasing Camellia, her skills, uh, and, and what she can do on the battlefield just to create more hype for her. Because like the previous video, even though I saw Camellia, you know, like some of her skills, it's it's really not enough because she's not the real focus of it. So this one is probably something similar to that one. And, and Kuro just really wants to, hey, look at this. This is what Camellia can do. So let's look at it. I'll throw into my comments. And without further ado, let's go. <laughs> Pleasure me with more power. Don't bore me, okay? Okay, cool. Nice. So let's go watch that again. And this time I'm going to throw in my comments. <laughs> Pleasure me with more power. Don't bore me, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Let's look that again. Wait, let me check this one out. Okay. okay. One. Two. Three. Wait, 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 wait. Is it five attacks? I, I think this is her basic attack, right? Okay, switch view this is one two three a bomb explosion four and five seems to have like five attacks and then there's another one Maybe, okay, maybe these are, yeah, they're, okay. Let's, let's look at this again. I actually haven't seen the leaks, or I would say I haven't really examined the leak videos that have been posted in the past for Camellia, like her skills. So I am just trying to figure out what is going on with her basic attack. So. We see here this one, okay? So there's a switch uh, to another angle here. There, that, that's one, two, is this three? And then this one, this is not really an attack. This is more like, like an after effect of the third uh, basic attack, it seems. It blows up. Four. That is an attack. Okay. Goes around. Oh, five. Okay. So she does a five string basic attack combo. So one, two, three, four, five. And then here she jumps up in the air. She leaps and deals another attack there. And now she does uh, aerial attacks now. You know what? Like, I I'm, I'm looking at this. She does seem to have an ability to clump together enemies. 
and and deal massive damage on these guys wow nice okay she clumped them together sent them flying and then she did dealt additional damage against these guys what is that is that her plunging it's hard to see boom okay that's her plunging attack she plunges down and and then this one here so it doesn't really show anything about uh which one exact which skills are which is that does that make sense so i think the the first couple of clips there were her basic attack now it appears that this one is probably her skill her resident skill and then she and notice like her hair turned red okay i know that when her hair turns red she enters the blossoming state if i'm correct or is it the budding budding or blossoming or blossom anyways like she she will enter an, a, a new face right and her hair turns red as far as i know it happens during her forte circuit so one of one of the abilities here okay let's check this out this has got to be her resident skill either oh okay okay wait 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 i get it now i get it i get it wait 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 when she went up flying like here i would say this is her resident skill and then she plunged back down i think this is her forte boom nuke and her hair's not red yet it seems after gaining some kind of point system i think it turns red now okay oh beyblade attack beyblade attack there it is she's like spider-man whipping her enemies oh there you go it looks like a bay Beyblade, indeed. It is. I see. And now this one here. What is this? I think it's still part of her resident skill. Hanging upside down. Okay. okay this one is weird okay it, it, her hair turns white again i think this is yeah it's not the same battle sequence they just inserted this in here Pl to, to show off her plunging attack probably during her e skill or or not e skill her resident uh, her resident skill and now here is we know this one is her her burst this is her burst here boom okay so let's look at all of this again i'm sorry like i, I just interjected that and i got so excited about this. Deceivers. that animation looks really awesome the burst animation it's really awesome and then you also have like these flares in here solar flares here or something these effects here the the, the solar flare effect that is really nice that is really nice i think like who else other than Camelli actually has a good looking burst animation right now? I don't think anyone is. Chang Li, maybe? Yeah. But this is like a whole new level. I I I, I don't recall seeing solar flares 
when when Chang Li does her elemental burst or her resonance uh, liberation. I mean, elemental burst Genshin Impact. But uh, what do you call this? Uh, her resonance uh, liberation. So that this is really nice. This is a nice effect. Plus you have you know the yellows and the the red flowers everywhere, and then you have like water ripples at the bottom. This is really nice looking. And just blossoms. So just yeah, just looking at that, like how the the animation itself, like the 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 pre animation going to her liberation. Oh, oh, now I see this one here. It's kind of like with the shorekeeper. Uh, when when the shorekeeper does her intro skill, um, uh, remember like uh the shorekeeper, after two intro skills by two other resonators, and then you bring the shorekeeper in, and she does her intro skill. She has a similar animation to this one. Look, it's like she took the entire battle into her fingers, and then. My she put it inside the blossoming thing on her chest which is where i believe oh yeah this is where her tacit uh, mark is a flower is in here right it, a flower comes out and she puts that entire battle into that flower oh my god that that, that, is, that looks amazing that looks really cool if you don't pause it or or you don't slow it down you won't even notice these subtle nuances so this is amazing <coughs> excuse me now the only thing is i don't know exactly aside from the the basic attacks i'm not sure which one here is the the resident skill and the forte circuit i would assume though like as soon as her hair turns red that would have been this one here this would have been the forte circuit here and it's a nuke attack as well right this is a nuke attack i i believe it deals more damage than her liberation based on my previous calculation video so it, it you know like it's not like they're they're far apart in terms of damage number they're they're quite close although the forte circuit i believe deals more damage than the resonance liberation but this, I believe, is when she does her forte. And then you combine it with her other skills, her basic attacks, and her resonance skill. Dealing, I believe, like additional 50% damage. And then there, you see the Beyblade effect. She's spinning like a top, upside down like Spider-Man, while doing Beyblade effects here. Now this one, I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, so is this the actual four day circuit? I, I mean, like I I don't know. Like they're not show. They didn't show anything. This is. It, it would have been nicer if they showed like resonance liberation, four day circuit somewhere at the bottom. You know, like just just for reference. But nothing right now. So I'm not sure exactly which is which. But I do know the basic attack was the first one, and then we know the burst. Uh, her burst or resonance liberation at the end. Now, she was able to evade that attack. Let me check this one out. If you notice this, there. When the enemy plunge attack her, she managed to uh, swing away. Okay, swing away. That's the right term, I guess. And notice, like, there's these solar flare effects as well here. Nice. <laughs> this one I didn't like. I, I, I don't know why they put this in here. They, they just ins slapped this thing on. So I would assume that this is her plunging attack. And they just put it in. Uh, I don't know. It's... Probably a misplacement. I, I'm not sure what's going on because she obviously has the white hair, so she's not in her blossoming or blossom state right now. My but that's okay. 
What is happening? Okay. It's the white hair. She ate up that battlefield, put it in her chest, but she already has the red hair stage. Okay. So I don't know what's going on there. Like, I, I she she had red hair, then all of a sudden, they in, it slapped the, her in her white hair doing a plunging attack. I don't know what's going on. Self-deceivers! Yeah, so that's it. That's it, basically. That's it. That's the that's the video that uh, Cool Games just uh, posted. It's not that long. It's less than a minute. Forty something seconds. Is that correct? Forty five seconds, maybe forty six because I I have it. Yeah, yeah, forty six seconds in total. Nice, but how should I say this? It's nice for a one-minute video, but I wish they added some context to it. Like, okay, this is her basic attacks. Even it doesn't have to be like the Dane's Leaf, uh, what do you call that? In Genshin Impact, miscellany, right? It doesn't have to be as long as that one. At least just put in the name. What are we looking at here? Just for context, so we know what part of her kit is what's being shown on the screen, right? As far as we, as far as I know, I, I I believe this is her basic attack. This is her basic attack set. It looks like it's a five set combo. Okay. Now this one, I'm not sure if is this her resident skill or. A different kind of attack or maybe this is her mid-air attack they just want to show this uh and, and throw it this in now okay now he it, it now makes sense <laughs> this was hastily done this was not well done i would say okay this is her plunging attack oh, this here is her mid-air attack same number of enemies, three enemies here, all female enemies, and then they showed her doing a plunging attack here. Right? And then it looks like this. Is her resonance is skill activating? And then another one, a nuke here for her forte now she her hair is red so that's how it goes okay <laughs> and the problem is this one here it's misleading uh where is that the, the part where she has white hair again there this one this should have been placed much earlier if i'm not mistaken yeah same three female enemies here i believe these are all females but this doesn't belong here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This doesn't appear to belong here, except like uh, uh what do you call this? Uh, a transition going to her burst. But it doesn't make sense though, because her hair is white, and in during her uh, liberation, her hair is red. So that doesn't. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me. So this was just slapped in here, which is weird. I don't know why they 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 place it here. So it, it's, but it doesn't belong here. It, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be here. It should belong here, somewhere here, right? That's this is where that belongs. And then she goes to her resonance skill, I think, and then another one converts to the blossoming. Uh, you know, transitions into the, uh, what do you call this? Blossoming state, right? Or budding state. I Man, I don't know what it's called anymore, but I know it used to be budding, and then they I think they changed it to blossom. Anyways. Uh, and this is her forte circuit. Now. Oh, this is really nice. I wonder if it's, 
in actual combat, if we're gonna transition to a to this angle, I'm not sure. Okay, so I don't know if that's how it's gonna work out. So maybe this one is another resonance liberation. And then another forte circuit probably here uh, and that that's why I, i'm like a little bit frustrated because i i wish they actually added you know some text uh in this video just to show oh this is her basic uh, basic attacks this is her plunging this is her mid-air this is her resonance skill this is her forte circuit and then this is her uh resonance liberation i think this was hastily done It doesn't it's okay okay uh, what i mean is it's okay it's not bad it's nice that they threw this out there but i wish they they put in more thought into this video okay i think it i don't know like for me it doesn't really you know if, if you're a a new player and you don't have any idea of who uh Wuthering Wave who the who are the Wuthering Waves characters, especially the new ones that are coming, I don't think you'd be really wowed by this video. I mean it's nice. You get to see, you know, uh the burst and all that. And 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 most people will probably say, Ah, oh, I want her I, I want her. But it's not like it's gonna make you jump up in there and like you know what? Like even if I I'm like 50 50. I'm willing to use my credit card and get this character. But that's just me. Okay. That's just me. I know some people would disagree. Okay. I'm sorry if, if I have uh, a different opinion. I'm sorry if ever like I disagree with you guys. But for me, really, like it, th this is not enough. I'm, I'm left high and dry, actually. Like I, I'm left wanting more uh, just to get me really. You know, super hyped up. I mean, I know what her kit is like. I know what she can do. I have an idea of what she can do already. I know that she is going to be really good. But how I wish that, number one, they added more context into what we're looking at. And number two, maybe they, they prolonged it a little bit more. Like maybe two minutes and, you know, added more to it. Like more meat into it, right? This is really short. It doesn't really, you know, give us a lot of to go by to get really pumped up, really get hyped and really get excited. So, but that's me. That's my opinion. Okay. I'm sorry if it doesn't agree with yours, but that's my opinion. Ho however, I do appreciate the fact that they posted this kind of video. So this is a good direction, in my opinion, that. Aside from the initial teaser and then the preview for 1.4, now we get we have a, a skills uh, video for Camellia. So hopefully next one will be Lumi. And hopefully before, when is the 14th? Before Thursday, I believe 14th is Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, before the 14th, we will get another set of videos, hopefully longer just to seal the deal come on wuthering waves please seal the deal come on you know like get people really hyped up for these characters maybe i'm asking too much okay i know maybe i'm asking too much but how i would love to really see more edge more more attitude more you know character from from this resonator right uh but yeah that's the video thank you so much guys for watching maraming salamat po hopefully you enjoyed this one and if you did uh please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as usual and yeah hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future updates on wuthering waves so there you go uh again thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video maraming salamat good night bye bye